Hi, I'm Design Bill Doug, and this is my blog dedicated to healthy, high performance construction and contemporary modern design. Today, we're going to talk best practices in regards to water resistant barriers and air barriers. So, take a look at this mid century home here in Austin, Texas, and this was the water resistant barrier at the time. This is our good old felt paper product. Um, very time tested product, but as you can see from this wall setup, this particular application has had many problems. Um, number one, we don't have huge overhangs over here on this area of the home, and so we're getting a lot of water just with wind driven rain or any wind rain for that matter that's really hitting up against our building and then. Getting, getting, we had some asbestos um, siding here, uh, kind of the shake, the shingle look. And so anyhow, water was definitely making its way on those shake sh shingles and then down back behind them in some areas. And then it was causing this felt paper to deteriorate. And it's done exactly that. It's very hard and brittle. You know, this could be 50 plus years old at this time. And it's just not holding up and not, not having that level of durability that we strive for. The, the main areas that we have big time problems with water are when we have these sort of homes like this. Again, no real big overhang. Though it does have some, we don't have a good overhang in this area. And that's just going to, to ask a lot more of this water resistant barrier now because it's gonna have to protect much more so without having the nice overhang to keep all that, that water off of the house. The other area is right here in the window. So every window at some point in time will leak within the frame. So what occurs is the water within the frame is going through and it's finding a place down here. That is why we do such a tremendous job of sealing up of our, all of our sills as well as the frame of the, of the sill itself. We actually tilt them five degrees so that any water that does come through the frame will work its way out and then down onto our weather resistant barrier. In this case, it was the felt. So they did not do a particularly good job of this at this time. And check it out, you see all these areas where you've got the deterioration of the wood. Where is the worst area that is deteriorated? It's right here. I can put my entire arm almost through this area and I can tell you exactly what happened is the water came down here and went down here. It, this, this felt paper did not do a good enough job of protecting this wall and then water got onto this wood and it attracted insects and now you have nothing at all. So basically that's what can occur. Over here we've got an extreme case of it where the, the felt paper has been ripped off and you can see this and I could pretty much do the same thing in many of these areas. I could probably put my hand through this wall right now if I really wanted to. And you just really don't want this on your home. This is not long a long life. This is not um, a high level of durability. This is not the, the level of long-term um, protection that we want to provide our homes for our clients or any project that we have anything to do with. So what we do differently is we use a much more premium product for our, our water resistant barriers as well as our air barriers. We've got a couple of them that we, that we use depending on the project. And what we do additionally too is we use a rain screen to step all of the siding material or any cladding material off the wall three eighths of an inch to really help us with bulk water. So in these areas where we've got a lot of bulk water building up, we don't actually want it to ever touch against this house wrap. We want it to always stay off so that it goes down the back of that cladding if it ever does penetrate through. And additionally, that cladding has the ability to completely dry itself out from the back side as well as the front side, allowing paint and uh, any sort of finish on that cladding material to last two or three times longer. Um, now we don't have any water going down this wall at all. If we do, we've done a way better job sealing it up and we've definitely not used a product that's just going to do this. Adios amigos.